Greetings, dear viewers, and a warm welcome to our channel. Remember, subscribing is the best way to stay updated with our content. Today, we delve into the whirlwind of controversy, cunning and commotion that is the Markle family saga. Our story begins with Thomas Markle Sr. and Samantha Markle, two figures who've become notorious for their actions and comments towards their own kin, Meghan Markle. Their behaviour, as we'll see, paints a picture of a family dynamic that is anything but harmonious. Samantha, Meghan's half-sister, has allegedly been spreading an unfounded rumour about Meghan's children, Archie and Lilibet, claiming they are not real. This audacious assertion has understandably raised eyebrows, given the lack of any substantial evidence to back it up. But it is Thomas Sr., Meghan's father, who has reportedly taken this rumour to heart, further fueling its spread. Thomas Sr. has a history of playing the sympathy card, using his estrangement from his daughter to milk public sentiment. His latest stunt? Allegedly latching onto Samantha's baseless rumour about his grandchildren. It's a narrative that Thomas Sr. seems to relish, as it allows him to once again cast himself in the role of the wronged party. However, this situation is far from the tragic tale Thomas Sr. would have us believe. It's more akin to a soap opera, with the Markles spinning their own narrative, seemingly oblivious to the damage they're causing to their family relationships. And all the while, they seem to be forgetting one crucial thing. If Thomas Sr. truly believes his grandchildren are not real, then he has no rights to them whatsoever. As we continue our journey into the Markle family saga, we'll see how Meghan's decision to step away from this toxic environment was not just a wise one, but perhaps the only one she could have made to protect her own family. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the twisted tale of the Markles. There's plenty more to uncover in this tangled web of family, fame and falsehoods. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Welcome back. Now let's dissect the toxicity of Meghan's estranged family. In any family there are bound to be disagreements, but the Markles seem to have turned family drama into a public spectacle. At the heart of this circus is Thomas Markle Sr., Meghan's father, who has a knack for manipulative tactics. For years, he's played the sympathy card, claiming he's on his deathbed and demanding attention and pity. This is a classic manoeuvre of a narcissist, who threatens to harm themselves if they don't get their way. But what's more worrying is his outright denial of his grandchildren's existence. This is not only disrespectful to Meghan and Harry, but it also shows a complete disregard for the emotional well-being of Archie and Lilibet. If he truly believes they're not his grandchildren, then he has zero rights to be a part of their lives. And then we have Samantha Markle, Meghan's half-sister, who seems to revel in spreading false information. She's been quoted saying that Thomas Sr. doesn't believe Meghan's children are real. This is not just a lie, but a damaging one. It's an attempt to undermine Meghan's credibility and motherhood, and it's a clear sign of a toxic family dynamic. Meghan was right to step away from this harmful environment. No one should have to endure such toxicity, especially not from their own family. It's important to remember that family isn't always about blood relations. It's about love, respect, and mutual understanding. And if these elements are missing, then it's better to distance oneself. This is not a case of Meghan abandoning her family, but rather a case of self-preservation. She did what was best for her and her children's mental and emotional health, and that is commendable. As we continue, we'll explore why Meghan's children are not obliged to have any relationship with Thomas Sr. Resuming our discussion, why does Thomas Sr. believe he has rights over Meghan's children? Let's delve into the perplexing paradox that is Thomas Sr.'s stance. Despite his alleged denial of their existence, he claims to have rights over his grandchildren, Archie and Lilibet. It's a puzzle, isn't it? Now, one might wonder, how can one claim rights over entities they don't believe exist? It's like claiming ownership over a unicorn, or rights to the pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. It's absurd, a farce. This is the riddle that Thomas Sr. presents to us, and it's as baffling as it is ludicrous. But let's scrutinise this a bit further. Let's dissect this charade. It's important to remember that this is the same man who has reportedly milked the Sympathy Act for years. The same man who has been accused of playing the near deathbed card. The same man who, it seems, is not above emotional manipulation to get what he wants. 
This behaviour, folks, is classic narcissism. The woe is me act, the I'm going to hurt myself if you leave me threat. It's textbook, and it's toxic. And here's the thing. If Thomas Sinner truly believes that Archie and Lilibet are not his grandchildren, then logically he should have no rights over them. None. Zero. Nada. To claim otherwise is not just contradictory, it's downright preposterous. It's clear that Thomas Senior is not just spinning a web, he's spinning a whole fairy tale. A fairy tale in which he is the misunderstood hero and everyone else is simply out to get him. But the reality is far from this. The reality is that he's an estranged father, a man who has reportedly pushed away his own daughter with his actions. In conclusion, if Thomas Senior doesn't believe in his grandchildren's existence, then he has no rights over them. It's as simple as that, and any claims to the contrary are nothing more than a farce. Next, we will discuss the impact of Samantha's actions on this situation. Onwards, let's scrutinise Samantha's role in this debacle. Samantha Markle, a central figure in this drama, has played her part with a flair for the dramatic. Her leaks and revelations have fueled the fires of controversy, adding fuel to an already blazing inferno. Consider Samantha's leaks about Thomas Sinier as disbelief in his own grandchildren. Now this is truly a shocking revelation. Imagine a grandfather doubting the existence of his own blood. It's not every day that a grandparent denies the reality of their own grandkids. These aren't figments of imagination or characters from a fairy tale. They are Megan's children. Archie and Lilibet, who deserve to be acknowledged and loved by their family. Yet Samantha, instead of trying to mend bridges, chose to perpetuate the drama. She leaked this sensitive information, adding to the negative narrative surrounding Megan and her family. It's as if she was more interested in causing a stir than in resolving the family issues. But let's not be too surprised. After all, this is the same Samantha who has been a constant source of criticism and judgement towards Megan. The same Samantha who has made it her life's mission to tarnish Megan's image. The leaks are just another chapter in her ongoing campaign against her own sister. What's more, these leaks have done nothing but damage. They've caused pain, they've caused confusion, and they've caused a further rift within the family. Samantha's actions have not only hurt Megan, but also the innocent children who are caught in the crossfire. In this game of leaks and revelations, Samantha has shown her true colours. She's shown a disregard for family ties, a thirst for controversy, and a lack of empathy for her sister and her children. It's a sad state of affairs, and one that has left many questioning the motives behind her actions. Finally, we will conclude with the impact of their actions on Megan. The damage is evident, the pain is palpable, and the repercussions are far-reaching. But through it all, Megan has shown strength and resilience, proving that she can rise above the toxicity. In our final segment, we reflect on Megan's decision to step away from her toxic family. An act of courage, an act of self-preservation, and an act that clearly demonstrates her prioritisation of emotional health. Meghan Markle, a woman who has faced more than her fair share of criticism, drama and turmoil, made the wise decision to distance herself from the toxicity that was unfortunately part of her family dynamics. A family is supposed to provide a safe haven, a place of unconditional love and support. Yet Meghan found herself amidst a sea of controversies, all stirred up by her own kin. Her father, Thomas Senior, allegedly questioning the existence of his own grandchildren, is a tale spun so far from reality that it borders on the absurd. This narrative, perpetuated by her half-sister Samantha, has been nothing short of a circus act. Samantha, who has been all too eager to spill the beans and feed the media frenzy, has only added fuel to the fire. The entire situation reeks of exploitation and manipulation, with Megan and her children being the unfortunate subjects of this cruel spectacle. Yet, amidst all this chaos, Megan stood her ground. She chose to protect herself, her husband and her children from the negativity that was being thrown their way. She chose to step away, to sever ties with those who were causing her harm. She chose her mental health over familial ties, and for that she deserves commendation. Megan's decision serves as a reminder to us all. It highlights the importance of maintaining emotional well-being, even if it means stepping away from toxic relationships. It brings to light the strength of a woman who, against all odds, chose her peace over the drama. 
In the end, Megan's wise decision is a testament to her strength, her courage, and her unwavering commitment to protect her family at all costs. It is a decision that many in her shoes would find hard to make, but it is a decision that, in the grand scheme of things, was the only right one to make. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, and share our content to stay updated. Goodbye.